Beatar Baker's going to be the first ones to ban out, and they're banning Kerrigan, a target ban, after what they saw in the last game. So, it is we are not prepared to turn. See if they do another counter ban, or whether they're just going to continue going with the meta style bans. See how that goes. I, I think they're probably going to go more for a standard ban. The map, by the way, if you do not remember from Paul telling us earlier, is going to be Sky Temple. Alright, I'm going to see if we have any update on the other game, by the way, while we are waiting for the bans. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Still winning for We Are Not Prepared. Another team that seemed to take a bit of time when it comes to their picks and bans. Paul sounds like he is returning. And by the sounds of it, it sounds like he has food. I have returned. Welcome back. Is that food I heard, or was that like a mug? <laughs> Good hearing. Um, yeah, I just got, I just got my last batch of Christmas cookies. Oh yes, my hearing. My, I, I like the fact I can tell you have food from sound. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. that's what that's the moment when you know. Okay, I'm really stuck. What am I seeing here? <laughs> Jaina being banned? Yeah, I think that's more to give them the pick they want rather than a uh, accurate okay. ban here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I have found some food in front of me. I'm That's not going to have too much because I do have proper food coming, but I have some chocolate fingers. Well, what's so... that proper food? Sorry? What's that proper food coming in? I say proper food. I've got McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so proper food. I can't really food. leave, so I can't really cook. True. That's why you always have a frozen pizza. Yeah, and uh, people say I called the whole a whole sector jerks. It was the Terran Dominion. They were run by Manx, and a lot of their guys weren't very nice. I yeah, I called the entire Dominion jerks. By the way, well, just, just so you know, they were discussing law and whether Kerrigan was evil, and I was like, Kerrigan killed a lot of people, but a lot of them were jerks. Hey, spoilers! <laughs> what? What? I've only Kerrigan played... kills people. She's a ghost. True. True. <laughs> I've only played um, StarCraft and Brood War. I haven't played um, the campaign for StarCraft 2. It's good. At all. I recommend it. Yeah, I heard. So are the cinematics. Yeah, I also recommend that people go out and download the StarCraft 2 arcade, because there's no reason not to at this point. It's completely free, and it has over 100 or so mini games on it. Yeah. I'm, uh, too bad that Blizzard really never um, promoted this in, ah, in this the beginning. Is the uh, this is the problem. Uh, yeah, my computer has just informed me you will be, we will be restarting in 15 minutes and there's nothing you can do about this. Wait, why? I don't know, because Windows 8. So, I'm going to restart. Um, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> okay, see you in a sec. Okay, um, while we're just jumbling on, um, let's talk about the draft. Um, we have the first pick by Beat Our Bakers, Stitches. And then the first two picks coming out of We're Not Prepared, Tassila and Arthas. Um, we'll have a look at the last draft after this, but... Alright, solid pickups. Even though I'm kind of confused why they went for Tassila as their first pick. And Valor and Brightwing were picked up as second and third here for Beat Our Bakers. Now, Sergeant Hammer and Uther are coming in. It does look a little bit weird. Maybe, maybe we're not prepared. Is maybe they're going for a zero to us? The final pick would be a little bit of a surprise. But that Jaina ban, that's really creeping me out. Okay, two more picks coming out of Beat Our Bakers. And well, let's see. Support is picked. And they wanna have someone to stop stop Sergeant Hammer. And the previous game they had Oh, Zagara again. Interesting. But wasn't Zagara on We're not prepared side? Oh, that's a steal. Steal on Zagara. Yep. 
Still on the Gara. <laughs> She's a little bit of a um, beefier specialist. So I would fill the role of a warrior um, a little bit at least. And then they could go for another assassin now. Kerrigan has been banned. Zara's tool is still up for grabs right now. And so is Feldstad. They could still go for Feldstad. But what? Are you kidding me? Shen? I have no idea what Bidar Bakers is going for here. This looks really weird to be honest. Maybe maybe Chris can uh, help us out once he's back. Oh, he is back. Let's give him a call. <laughs> Good old Windows 8. You be missed. <laughs> Alright, you I, are back. I am S back. Skype needs to fix your connection so we get really good sound quality again. It, hopefully it'll wake up in a second. Yes, there it is. And Hooray. do you have that draft open right now? I do, yes. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Zagara steel, but then why Shen? Why in the uh, world Shen? Shen is still good? Yeah, but why, if you pick Zagara, why would you go for another warrior? Zagara isn't a warrior. No, I know, but she kind of fulfills that role sometimes. No, she doesn't. Zagara fills the assassin role. Really? Yes. I Double feel like killer she's so... is some of the most damage in the game. Throw the two of those on a Valor and it's going down. Hmm. I might have said that that might have come out a bit more G than I intended to. <laughs> <laughs> I need to reload up the chat. Still, I, I don't know. I've seen her. I've seen her play where she never dies. Oh yeah, she's very good at escape if she's got loads of creep, etc. And we got Tyrael again. Yeah, nice, nice to see he's being played more. <laughs> okay. You guys were right. Yeah. Chat one casters O. <laughs> I wouldn't say oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> we've been pretty good. We've earned our points. But <laughs> we've earned our points. Not, not in the Tyrell game. Of them. Not in the Tyrell game. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so. We are. We are. Draft is finished. I we should get, get in the into... lobby, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, You are now. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I forgot about it. Uh, we are in Sky Temple, by the way. Yep, I have been, I informed everyone. But uh, what I am quite interested to see is what ultimate Chen will be taking. Because I've already stated my opinion on it, that I am a fan of Barrel. And on this map, it's very good, because the whole idea is to keep control of those shrine areas kind of thing. True, temples. But, but then again, you don't have those uh, narrow constrictions. You don't have those choke but points. You don't need the choke points if no, you it's just whole for... goal is to keep them out of a circle. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. But you don't have that uh, really nice zoning potential that you usually have. When you when you can use the choke points, but yeah. of course I, I gotta agree. If you just want to keep them out of the temples, uh, go for it. Do the barrel yeah. roll. I I, f I personally think they're probably not going to pick the barrel roll, even though the barrel roll is amazing. Personally, it's more likely that we will see the um, bleh, words more likely that we'll see the panda pals. But if we're down before a fight, you've still got that extra health bar, and you don't get interrupted. And someone pointed out in the chat, Chen is amazing. Chen holds temples by himself. Hmm. True. We'll have to we'll have to have a, a really um, good look on Chen and when he actually pops his heroic then. Yeah. How are those cookies? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> but they well, I have to eat them now. Otherwise, no. Well, in about Otherwise, two yeah, weeks, they're not gonna good. taste that well. Yeah, I can hear my brother outside my room currently microwaving uh, his food, so he is back with McDonald's, I just currently can't go get it. I will do that in between this and the same, and the third place match. McDonald's is pre-cooked processed shit anyway, doesn't matter. It's a bit so <laughs> re-cooked in a microwave. But yay, we are finally getting into game number two. It will be on Sky Temple, currently. The score is 1-0 in favor of we are not prepared. But can beat our bakers bring it back on the newest map in the game? We'll have to find out. Sky Temple. Oh yeah. 
is it gonna be like 20 minutes again 30 minute game what are your what are your thoughts um with the comps i'd say so 20 20 25 minutes ish i love the i love the new zagara skin i would like this known it is so sexy but yes ladies and gentlemen spawning on the left hand side in the blue trunks it is beat our bakers and playing the cigar with the cool skin and making it very hard to read his name. It is Tomzy on the stitches. It is Breeze. Nunde is on the Chen. Wubby is playing the Valor and Shadow Mare will be playing the Brightwing. Their opponents on the right side as the red team we have. We're not prepared with Palator on Uther, Black Scorp on Arthas. Falcon playing Sergeant Hammer once again. In the mid lane, Killer Chino on Tassler, and in the bot lane, T Darker playing uh, Have Curial. a quick look at Polator in the top lane. He appears to have found a spot where the wall doesn't actually line up properly, but you still can't get through it. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's just a tree. Yep, just <laughs> the a only palm thing tree stopping, stopping you. <laughs> the only thing stopping you really getting through there is your own sense of apathy. Yeah, like, one of the mightiest the heroes game, of the Nexus, game. and he just can't pass that. Ooh, nice hook! <laughs> so, hook does lead, but not able to pick him off. It is Ufa, he has heals. At this early stage of the game, if you can't knock him down, you're not going to get him. And because there is currently no route available for Shen until level 7, you're not going to be able to pick anyone off in that way this early. Although, Breeze is ready again, he's looking for round 2. Yeah, he's waiting, waiting so in the shadows. Okay. Um, can they actually spot him out? No, but they yeah, actually just... just got, yeah, they're just warned it. They just yeah, warned they of know. danger. They know. Oh my oh, god! Oh, there comes that hook! Anyway. Wow. Wow. <laughs> trying to back up there. He gets healed by Ufa and still doesn't go down. Without First the lockdown, it's not gonna one. work. But some good creep spread coming out of Tomzy. They try to stop, though. And Tomzy will have to go back a little bit here. Ah, missing that hook. <laughs> Let's check out the other lanes. Um, but now the Very temples are coming up. <laughs> well, currently, BJ Bakers have control of the middle shrine. Did you get a bit for the team fight, though? Breeze taking a lot of damage. Falcon is keeping himself as far back as possible. It's just way oh, a nice on position this. for Falcon. But, yeah, but the slightly tankier comp that BJ Bakers are running this time appears to be very effective. They're moving in here to try and take this shrine back. No one over top. They're deciding to instead just fight over the shrines that the enemy is taking to get as maximum amount as possible. And finally, we're seeing Arthas head to the top lane as they realize they can't really take this mid shrine back due to how currently tanky the comp of Beta Bakers is. And Beta yeah. Bakers already sending some members up to the top lane to try and contest this. And they have Valor in the mid lane to keep an eye on Tyrael and to soak some XP there. Brightwing. Yeah, this is definitely working out quite well for them so far. And Valor's in there as well. There comes the hook. And no lockdown available once again. But Everyone got knocked out, the oh, knocked out of the temple there by the big guardian, whose name is Defender, apparently. <laughs> by, just, by just clicking on his name. All of them but called Defender. Beat Bakers controlling the temple once again. Hammer is seized up in a great position, though. Tomzy is the one being engaged upon. He's being dropped very low. Oh, and the storm. Now. That's dead. That is dead. The health regen from the creep, not enough to save him this time. But it's still a four versus five, but a lot of members of we are not prepared are quite low here but hammer's just doing so much damage here nunde needs to be very careful here he's tanking himself up but Pro Prolator still does a lot of damage and we do see the last of the shots go over to we are not prepared a little bit surprised that they actually managed to take that kill that was the first blood by the way and was it? um we, yeah that was first blood oh, wow and yeah, I'm really surprised because as you just talked about this, um, sustainability here for Beat Our Vegas is just insane. And I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird. They should be able to take all these templates and just keep on engaging and keep solid control of them. Yeah, it's a, the uh, sustain of the team is very good, but they went for the only member who does not have this amazing sustain in the form of Sagara. And it worked out well for them. It was that that allowed them to gain control of that shrine and gave them quite a lot of siege damage from to beat our Baker's buildings. And Bruiser camps have been taken for both sides. There's the siege camp taken by Nande. So that's what you do once the temples are gone. Are they going to go for the boss already? Would be a little bit early, it seems. Uh, it was, it's very early, but it is possible. You can take the boss early, but if the enemy team comes anywhere near you, 
You are in serious trouble. Looks like they're thinking about it though, or at least thinking about contesting these these uh, siege camps here. I don't know, Black Scope is waiting in the bushes, but he's the only one without any help. He's, yeah, yeah, he's he, he can just him. look while they steal the those yeah. siege giants. Guys, it's fine. <laughs> and just turn around. It's going to start clearing these up now that the enemy team is gone. Nanda, moving up to the mid lane to start soaking. Brightwing, still in the top lane, getting as much XP as possible. They all know that the next shrine, the next temple spawn is bot lane. And we can see Tomzi is pre-prepared for this by throwing all the creep in the world at it. <laughs> yeah. Perfect, perfect placement here for these creep tubers, and really spots out early on once uh, once the enemy team gets there. And now they do get there. Nice hook comes out. Darker caught out there on the left side. Can they get a body block in? Nope, doesn't look like it. Tomzi really doesn't want to get on top of everything. And Darker still doing a, taking a lot of damage there. There comes the shield, and he gets away for now, but not with the flying so kick. Oh, Nande! Oh. Arf is taken out. There. And and, uh, sorry, some hammer is in the back doing so much wow. damage. Dark is able to escape by teleporting over the wall. But this does mean that the temple is at least currently going to go over to beat our Vakers. We see Wobby still hanging up there, getting some XP and just keeping some vision out for the enemy team. And we are seeing we are not prepared reacting to this by, okay, we're not taking that back. Let's just go soak all the lanes. But yep. L10 still goes over to beat our Vakers first. Yeah, so like, let's check out those heroics. Uh, we have Gorge on Stitches, Emerald Wind on Brightwing, of course the Panda Pals on Shen, Devouring Maw on Zagera, and Reign of Vengeance on Valor. Yep, and the ones worth talking about there are, in fact this is probably the team that we could have seen the most variation on, ta on level 10 talents that I think I've ever seen. Gorge, still pretty nice, especially with the bonus damage. Oh, Breeze goes up in the sky. Um, it's still with the bonus damage, but it's still not. It's still crit. Uh, sorry, Varbile is still very decent. Emerald Wind, very much debatable amongst Brightwing players. And the Panda Pals, very much uh, possible to take something different. But we did just see uh, Beatar Bakers take the middle lane boss camp. Sorry, bot lane boss camp. Yep, uh, boss is on its way. So far, no reaction out of Winner prepared, but they're rotating down. Sergeant Hammer is still staying in mid. And Ufus staying top, they think they can take this with just three heroes. And I have to agree, they're about right. With Arthas in there and uh, Tyrael. Tessida putting out the storms. I think they're doing fairly well. Yep, they're doing fairly well. They're actually killing it very quickly. That boss actually did very, very little. I think it took oh, down look at that tower. animation. That's so sweet. It. He just Dis dissolves into sand. Yeah, all the buildings do. A lot of the buildings do that as well. Like like I said before, this map is one of the most aesthetically good ones. Even the minions. Now have a look at the mid lane yep. for a second. Watch these minions die. It's so, mm -hmm. it's so good. I'm yeah. I'm so much a fan of this map. It looks so cool. That and just the little flying carpets that fly past whenever you see them off the side of the map. I'd have to I have to check. Okay. It's just water dropping down. Oh, flying carpets, there they are. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Nice find. Yeah, it, it happens at lo lots of spot around, spots around the map. It's just oh, little... Wobby! He's in trouble! Reign of Vengeance comes out and saves his ass. Emerald wow. Wind as well, really helping there to just disengage the team and beat our Bakers. Holding this quite well. Ne up come the next two Shrimes. Top and bot lane is the order of the day. Beat our Bakers, making their way up to the top lane. They're also grabbing their hard camp at the same time. Whereas we are not prepared, they are going for the bot lane shrines. Brightwing is heading down there to just get some vision, but we'll probably teleport up to the top lane once she is aware of what is going on. And yeah, the creep has pretty much given it away. Brightwing doesn't really need to do this. It's just going to head back up to the mid lane, maybe the top lane, soak it. And Peter Baker's doing this much better, I think. They know where we are not prepared are, so they are going into the lanes and the mercenaries, raiding the enemy's jungle in this, in the case of Nunday. And they're going to start taking the hard camp here because they they know where the enemy are. They're gathering as much XP and gra doing as much on the map as possible. Yeah, I think this is something that uh, will come up eventually where we just have a single hero sitting in there um, and trying to take or just keep control of the shrines. Yeah. And everyone else just controlling the remainder of the map. Yeah, exactly. I'd like to see him buffed, honestly. Just to make, just to make it more of a fight and just see more interesting fights there. But Vita Baker's already finished the top shrine and are now pushing with the hard camp they just stole and their own hard camp that was already pushing before this started. Some great timings here. 
by them. The whole rest of We Are Not Prepared is here, but they do lose all the towers, and they still haven't taken a single fort. It's currently two forts and a lot of buildings in favor of... One fort did go down in the bot lane. Yeah, so two uh Oh, yeah, it did. My bad. But still, uh... Of course, uh, Bidar Bakers is far ahead. Um, three forts down, level up, one and a half levels up, to be honest. Yeah, and Bidar they do. They seem to be very, very good on this map. Like I did say earlier, be, uh, apparently one of their display messages was best of one on Sky Temple GG or OP or something like that. <laughs> they seem to be quite, quite fans of this map. Yeah, quite fond of the map. And um, if you just watch their play. Uh, not surprised, to be honest. Really good decision making here. When to take these temples and how many heroes to send out there. Yep, and in the whole time, Shadowmare is just off doing his own little thing, getting his team XP. Right now, he's backing up so he doesn't get ganked. He's now going to teleport to join his team in this team fight. And there we go. Here is the fight. Darker is going to go down. Panda Pals popped very early. And Nanda is going to be able to take down Darker here. Hammer has been pulled and Gorge. Emerald Wind pushes Black Scorp away. Wobby able to take him down. Out comes Falcon. He gets midi stunned. But he gets away thanks to first aid and the Ufa heal. And wow, that statue breaks, who knew? Uh, <laughs> Shadow Bear is going to continue chasing this. Uh, did someone else go down? Yep, Kilchino get to go down. And Politer is in trouble as oh, well. Wow. Does go down. So that's four for zero. How did Hammer keep Amazing fight for Bidar Bakers. Every single game, Hammer survives. Doesn't matter who the <laughs> team is, it just happens. That is so, that is very cool. But Bidar Bakers, an incredibly good fight for them, very convincing. And now they are in prime position to take control of both shrines here. But respawns are coming up for yep. we are not prepared. So they need to be careful as to not get caught here. Still, the shrines are coming up in mid and bottom lanes. So I think this one goes for goes in control of Shen. And then the remainder of the team is going to move down. Yeah, I like to get what Zagara did there. She just made sure she got the first few hits. Knew she wasn't really going to do much else. So it's moving out, waiting for our team to get here. And we're going to see the full team fight again here. And Chen is coming in, goes up to Falcon, who was pulled in there and weakened down. And none is able I think he was taken down by one of these defenders in, in the end here. And Black Scorp is in trouble as well. Breeze is on top of him. Oh, there comes the final blow, the flying kick from Nande. Yeah, and Darker's they have solid control Darker. of both of these Judge shines. Darker on the uh, further up the map, by the way. He just judgmented to a minion just to escape. <laughs> Not and, bad. Uh, it, w it worked. But yeah. It does mean his judgment will be down for another 63 seconds currently. And Beatar Bakers able to take control of both shrines. They ditched the top, the mid shrine, because they knew the enemy wasn't there. So they moved bot, they took control of that, they used the remainder of that shots, and then moved straight back up to that middle lane shrine. And they're going to be able to grab this too. And that's so much damage. We're seeing keeps. Uh, the keeps are actually taking damage. And bot lane keep is under serious duress. Yeah, they have complete control over all map objectives, be it shrines, be it camps, and the boss. This is just insanity for beat our bakers. They're doing so well on this map. Yeah, incredible job. A completely different team to what we saw in the last game. And there we go, those final four shots do go off. And just so much damage. Bot key uh, on about two thirds health. Mid keep on about two thirds health. Top keep pretty much exposed. Right wing is teleported down to the bot lane. They're continuing to push with the boss they grabbed while all this was going on. And that bottom keep is pretty much doomed. You can't defend that hook. Goes nice off hook on Falcon. As he gets eaten, he's going to be pulled back into the team. There's the Emerald Wind to prevent anyone coming to help him. And the Rain of Vengeance locks him down as well as the Nun Day Root. Hammer wiped out there. And Kilachino goes down as well instantly. Wow, and he really wasn't expecting that. Yeah. And that's the next tower going down. I think they might even be able to take the next seat. No, they're going straight for the core. Wow, that's a little ballsy, but it's a 5v3. Yeah, 30 seconds till Hammer, till Tastor is up. 20 until Hammer is up. They're just going for it right now. Only the Panda Pals is available as an ult, but it's just been used. Wobby gets shielded and healed by Shadow Bear, and in comes the Judgment. That does take out Wobby, but Shadow Bear, Nunday, and Breeze are still going onto the core, and it is enough. And the score is evened up to 1-1 by Beatar Bakers on the Sky Temple. Great play by them here. Yeah, that's definitely one of their prime maps, I gotta say. That looked just so convincing. Maybe 
Uh, maybe we're not prepared. weren't really prepared for that map. I, they were. Looks like it's too new, apparently. Yeah, it looks like they haven't played too many scrims on that map. Seems to be the case. But look at the scoreboard there. Zero yeah, deaths. Zero deaths. <laughs> zero deaths. One death. One <coughs> death. And that one death from Zagara was at the start, and that one death from Valor was right at the end. First yeah. blood and last blood <laughs> is what that is there. Yeah, but they had a way better composition as well. So I think it was composition and um, the team, uh, the the map layout, and just handling those map objectives so well. Yeah. So big props to beat our bakers there. What is the next map? The next map will be. Let me check. Blackheart's Bay. Ah, yar, the pirates. Uh, it was who was it who won from this? Well, uh, we are not prepared and well met. I'm pretty sure they played on this map. Um, they played on this map, and did we go all the way? I think we did, yeah. Think so it should have been, uh, it should have been we're not prepared. Oh, it was because well met were pretty far ahead, and that's what and well met were already a game up, and then we are not prepared won that last fight at the end and turned it round and won the game. That yep. was the one with Sunder, where Sunder basically oh, yeah. pushed hammer out the fight. Yep, that was the one. So let's see if they're going to go for um, their favorite Sergeant Hammer again, or if it's going to be a steal from Beat Our Bakers. Uh, from when up Oh, wait. Beat Our, beat our Bakers, right? Yeah, uh, they had beat, they... our, beat Our Bakers and we are not prepared to the teams. Yeah, let me check if they had uh, Sergeant Hammer first. Uh, so, uh, nope, it was always We're Not Prepared. Yeah, that they really like Sergeant that Hammer. Sergeant Hammer. They yeah. love it. And she's surviving pretty much every fight, so mm -hmm. I don't see why not. Well... I think in this fight and on this map, um, beat our bakers made did a really good job just focusing Sergeant Hammer, um, be it hooks or just pushing him or pushing her out on the wall, out of the fight. Um, I think they did a pretty good job on this on this map. Okay. Draft is up, by the way. All right, let's have a look at that draft then. All right, I'm going to run for bio quickly while they are starting. I was hoping they would take a little longer doing it, so be right back. All right, let's open up the draft here. And for comparison, here are the last two drafts. This was the first map um, played out on Haunted Mines. And this was the second draft on Sky Temple. So always Sergeant Hammer. Um, other than that, yeah, Sergeant Hammer, Uther. But I think Uther was mostly because they couldn't get Brightwing. <clears throat> Sergeant Hammer has been... One of the staple heroes here for We're Not Prepared. And Beat Our Bakers, always going for Valor. And uh, that's all. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Valor and Brightwing. And no, Felsa wasn't in there. And this was, yeah, a little bit of a weirder, weirder composition, but it worked out quite well. All right. So let's check out this draft. It's Brightwing banned for We're Not Prepared. And Beat Our Bakers banning Stitches. First pick is Zeratul. And Uther and Arthas coming out of Beat Our Bakers. Okay, so they didn't... They, they were certain not to end up with Malfurion or Rhaegar. Good on them to pick up Uther. Now the next two picks are going to We're Not Prepared. <clears throat> so they will take their time with the support pick, probably leave it for last, one of the last two picks. And instead go for go for the warriors now, since they already have zero tool. No. Tasada and Vala. Okay. This is gonna leave them with really weak warriors then. Beat our bakers. I would expect Sergeant Hammer again. Even though we're not prepared, they do have a zero tool now. Still, I think Sergeant Hammer is, is definitely an option here for beat our bakers. And taking their dear time. 
Now in Blackheart's Bay, they also want to go for Felstead. I'm I'm pretty sure one of these teams is gonna pick up Felstead. I think in one of the one of the drafts we had today, he was neither banned nor picked. Alright, that's a Gera for Beat Our Bakers. And what about we're not prepared? Are they going for Sergeant Hammer again? Later on. I think Beat Our Bakers did quite well with Zagara and Chen in that last game. This time they won't have a Brightwing though, so... I think one of their picks will be will be Felstead in order to still maintain some kind of mobility on the map. <laughs> Isn't there a team called Stitches Bitches? Chen. Okay. Chen now. Looks similar to the last one. Looks similar to the last draft. Yeah, except for Stitches and Brightwing. But Arthas is a very a good good substitute, even though Stitches did quite well in that last game, to be honest. And what we're not prepared up to now. Cunning, kind of running out of options for their warriors. Mafurian. And Muradin. Okay. Okay. So I think this is the first time they're not running Sergeant Hammer. I'm back. Joining Lobby. Nope, oh, Lobby's not up. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so the draft right. was finished and I thought it was up. Not quite finished. We're still waiting for the final oh, pick yeah. out of Bidar Bakers. I'm kind of thinking Felstad. Um... On black cards, possibly. Not too sure though. I'm quite interested about the fact that Zeratol's in the uh, yeah the comp if we are not prepared. And they're not going for Sergeant Hammer this time. This is true. They've they've realised that people seem to have them rumbled. <laughs> and Falstad. yeah, you're right. Falstad coming out there for beat our bakers. So, did you grab your McDonald's? I didn't know. It'll be cold. I don't have time to microwave it. <laughs> I need to leave it until uh, in between games. That's the caster's a bit more time. life. <laughs> it is the caster's life. I did grab a chip and that's how I knew it was cold. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the worst though. What, cold chips? Yeah, cold fries. Oh. Yeah, it's not. it is not a good thing. <laughs> Alright, I am joining game. I am in game. Lobby's up. Oh, lobby's up. I'll yep. join as well then. Ah, we're still missing half the players. Yep. No rush. Players take their time doing stuff. <laughs> I, li I like that people have fight every single time, find a new way to uh, take the mick out of my picture. In this case, it's like, it's pretty, pretty still today. <laughs> Confirm to sleep. Strong commentating. I was BRB and it's a photo. <laughs> I lo I'm, I'm loving they are coming up with new ways to do it. Yep. Especially seeing as it's this it's now light hearted stuff as opposed to what it was last time. Yeah, but you're you're opening things up with that picture. Say again, sorry? You're opening things up with that picture. Yeah, this is true. I will get another one eventually. One you day. Keep saying that. I know. And <laughs> it's it's still the same picture that I had from that ages ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's you no still picture. look the same. That that might have been like three years now. Uh, so <laughs> not quite. One, maybe two. I think it's one and a bit years. Uh, it hasn't changed that. It hasn't changed that much, other than I've obviously had different hairstyles since then. And currently, my hair is similar to that, but a little bit long. Actually, no, my hair's quite a lot longer than Well, you can't picture. really see any hair on that picture. Yeah, it's, it's covered up by a top hat, so... Yeah, mostly the top hat. Now it would show. Now it would show under the top hat. So, yeah. it's I'm not too, I'm not very different to that picture at all now, <laughs> um, nowadays. So, yeah, it's still an accurate representation of me. 
Mm. But no, I, I, I There's a good like... question coming out of um, Nazil, uh... if I pronounce that correctly. Why are so few thralls coming out from these teams? Um, uh... We talked about this earlier. I think it's mostly due to the fact that he's only been out for uh, three or four days now. Yeah, he's and nice. teams have no idea how to play him or how to counter him. Yeah, you d you don't want to take the risk of running a thrall yet, as, uh, unless you're well met, apparently. But <laughs> he is good, but it's just a risky pick now uh, at the moment. And no Brightwing. Was Brightwing banned? Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. I had to tab back in quickly because I noticed the shadow. I noticed Shadow Bear was playing Ufa, and then I noticed that Mafurium was on the other side. So once again, a very tanky team coming out from Beta Bakers. Whereas on the side of We Are Not Prepared, it's very much a engage and kill team. Yep. I don't like their composition. Really? Yeah. I don't like it. Okay. Uh, just so people know, Black Scorp has gone to the water closet. So we will be getting in once he is back. But just so people know why we are waiting. Wait, that's... That's what the abbreviation stands for? Yeah, water, water closet. closet. <laughs> Did you not know that? <laughs> I think I heard about it, but I forgot. It's been years. No, oh. WC is water closet for reasons. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's a closet with water in it, I guess. So, <laughs> yeah, it makes, makes sense. You know what I'm imagining in my head? Just what? a closet you go into and it just drips down water from the top. <laughs> that's, a, that's called a shower. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Black Scorp is back. So the timer has begun. We are getting into game number three of this best of five series. Game's going to be on Black Hearts Bay. And the winner of this is getting into the Heroes Premier League Season 2. And the loser will have another chance in the third place match. Maybe our admins can give us an update on the other semi-final match that's going yeah, on. Yeah, if they at could, the same time. I'll keep that, my Skype that'd be great. open for that. Yeah, so, that'd be great. Yeah, I'm hoping they heard us, and I'll keep Skype open so I can see. All right, Blackheart's Bay almost done loading here. Yeah, and it's currently one-one. Yeah, it's very. It's getting. It's very close. Seeing like we saw beat. Uh, we saw we are not prepared playing spectacularly well. Outdrafting beat our bakers amazingly in that first game on the haunted mines. They played yep. it so much better. And at that point, obviously, it looked like beat our bakers were in a bit of trouble. But in came Sky Temple, and suddenly it was a whole different team. Beat our bakers just dominating, er dominating. We are not prepared in that game. But those two maps are really polarizing. I mean, they really haunted are. mines. This map is a uh, sort of halfway, I'd say. Yeah, I, I, I agree. For sure, for sure. Um, alongside uh, Cursed Hollow or something like that. Um, really one of the staple maps that uh, teams are not really... Well, they, they don't really care if it comes up. Um, I mean, Cursed, Cursed Hollow was, I think, one of the maps that was always first picked um, when they actually had the possibility to go for a map choice. Yeah, but seeing how these uh, both these teams have been able to play at such high levels on different maps just goes to show that these teams are fairly evenly matched, but not in the sense that we would usually see. It's not in the sense of every single game is really close. This is the maps are going to be what gets the game going. And that's what I love about Heroes, because this is something you won't have in, in Dota or, or LoL, where it's map choices that are actually determining what, what's happening. And keep things fresh alongside always refreshing health pool, uh, Heroes pool. Okay, <laughs> I was so about to say the always refreshing health pool. <laughs> um, that is called so health what's going on? I'm still not in the game for some Neither reason. Neither am I. This is concerning me. I'm hoping yeah. we don't have a uh, disconnect. It's got to be something like this. Yeah, it's been on full for quite a while now. I think we're going to see. I think we're seeing a disconnect. Quite honestly. I'll probably have to remake this match. Uh, probably. Hopefully, hopefully not. I'm just keeping an eye on Skype quickly. My, I haven't got a message on Battle.net yet, so... We After don't this, have... we're going into Cursed Hollow and possibly... Of garden, I assume. Well, we're going all the way now, since it's 1-1. One, one. Uh, no, we, we can still go... We can... No, we don't have to go all the no, way. No, we don't have to go all the way, you're right. Yeah. If, if one of the teams... It's 2-2, we have to go yeah. all the way. But we're definitely going to see Cursed Hollow behind, uh, after this, and then Garden of Terror as the final map, if that is needed. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a this is a worryingly long load, guys. Oh. Well, Kilochino has dropped, so we'll have to see. Only Kilochino currently. Well, what are we doing now? I don't know. It's at the start, so I think we give him till like the gates open for people to for him to reconnect. And if not, I suppose we message the players and get them to remake because it's obviously not cool. It's at the very start of the game. I think we're pretty safe to say we can remake if that's the case. Ten seconds. Well, they're not doing anything. Ten seconds. I know. They haven't left yet. Okay, there we go. All right, now. so yeah, we're okay. remaking. Yep. Tomzy, Tomzy and Breeze are leaving. Even be, be Wait, how do I exit without leave. going to... You don't, you don't, okay. you don't need to, because the entirety of Red Team have left. How did that happen? I haven't seen it. Falcon <laughs> just died. Oh, well, there goes Nunday. Oh, I, oh, we flew in and died to towers. There we go. Yeah, I was like, how did that happen? How did you get there? But yeah, there we go. Uh, but how, how would I quit? Uh, you don't. You have to exit the game itself. Okay. That and sucks. Do players it. also have to do that? Yes. Okay, yeah, that's weird. Why... Ah, okay, they don't want you to leave. Okay, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, 1-0 one zero to, Arf one zero to Arthas at the moment in the other bracket. They started a bit late. Okay. Alright, so we'll remake and we will get this under... We'll get back into that as soon as possible. Very unlucky there having a player disconnect. Not much we can do about it. I like Hitman the third. I like Hitman the third. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go on your Facebook and tell you your profile picture looks stupid. <laughs> a, f a very reasonable point. Yep. Mm -hmm. Don't do unto others and so forth. <laughs> yes, and so forth indeed. All right, I am in the lobby. All right, I'll Players join you. Players are slowly rejoining. Why is Tychus disabled and not allowed? Um, thing is, Tychus is currently bugged where you can use his um, auto attacks with his Q spell. So, that's pretty much it. Yep, it's a ridiculous bug that there's no real way to get away with. Unfortunately, we have to wait for it to be fixed. And hopefully people will actually remember to keep it banned this time, unlike what happened with Muradin. Why the day did they actually was allow him? Because he was broken, and then people sort of started forgetting, and admins weren't enforcing it in certain tournaments. Oh, really? I've yeah, not so Muradin got into like a load of tournaments, even though he was with the broken health regen. By the way, I have to call out Kaldor. Um, Kids Forever said something about that haircut, and he's like, "Hair is overrated." <laughs> he's right. <laughs> that's not a call out. That's a shout out. Kaldor is a hundred percent correct. Hair is overrated. Well, if you can pull it off, and Caldo definitely can, I oh, probably God. wouldn't be able to have a huge scar on my head, so... Okay, I have. I think I have a scar on my head, but I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off. I currently don't need to try it, but like you said, Caldo pulls it off amazingly. Alright, All right. let's try it one more time. We're loading into Blackheart's Bay. Yep, Booty round Bay. two! So, for those of you who are just joining us, just, a, just an update. We did have a disconnect in the first game because it was before the game even started. We ha uh, They have decided to remake. Current score is 1-1. This is game three on Blackheart's Bay and is a best out of five. So winner of this is simply gaining themselves an advantage. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's a way to just take out all the importance of this match. <laughs> <laughs> no, is it? It is. A, it is an important match, but every match is important in that way. True, true. But then you'd only have to cast the last match in each series. Well, no, because that would make it a best of one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, every, um, every match is important. We're on the. This is where it ducked out last time. It, it's happening again. What the hell? Yeah, so it's, it sometimes stops at 100%. If it happens for a lot, a bit longer, like mine only just got there. Hmm. This, this is, is not good. If that's the case. I don't know what we do if that happens. I don't know what the reaction is here. If this is the second time in a row, it might be some kind of a client bug. Possibly. Or something along those lines. 
If it does happen again, I guess we have to contact the admin and ask. Yeah, I'll just do it now. Okay. Yeah. It's like if we're on a loading screen, why not? So, yeah. Uh, the admins have told us that Arthas are currently 1 0 up in their side, on their side of the bracket. So, if it continues that way, we will be seeing Arthas in the final. They're currently against 4 Baron. Hmm. Well, we're, um, not in the final, but in the uh, Bronx match, in the match for the third place. Well, yeah, for, uh, but, so that's what I said. Ace Heaven. Is it Ace Heaven? I thought it four, did Ace Heaven beat 4 Baron? Ace Heaven beat. Uh, four Baron. Oh yeah. wait, it's, it's Ace Heaven versus uh, Four Baron Arthas. right now, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's Ace Heaven versus Arthas. Oh yeah, Four <laughs> Baron already out. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot what the bracket was. Oops. Mm. That's why I have having too many windows. Um, That's why yeah, you need like two or three screens. <laughs> yeah. So currently, it would be uh, currently as it stands, it could be Ace Heaven in the third place match. But yeah, I really don't know what we do here if he can't connect. Yeah, we're just trying to figure this out with the admins. Um, I don't know what I don't know what to do here. I don't I don't know how to react to this. Like you say, it could be. Uh, yeah, he has to have, have reloaded. I don't know. He might not have actually. I think he has to. I mean, if they're quitting the game, that he has to reload. Well, no, he's not. Re he's not quitting. He would have been kicked back to lobby, kind of thing. Uh, Probably okay. anyway. I'd assume, unless the actual game is a. Uh, just disconnecting. I don't know. I really don't know. So you can't give. Yep. It's always Kilochino. Yep. It's always Kilochino. Yep. So we're yeah, just gonna wait. Uh, uh, don't be worried that you don't see any gameplay. I'm not gonna show it. If, yeah, it's, if just, it's just gonna stop. Like, no, the player is disconnect. This player is disconnected again. I'm hoping they'll. I, I'm assuming they'll try to remake one more time. And if that doesn't happen, then. We just have to have him relog. Wait, and uh, it not. says has restored his connection. Oh, okay. Do, do you want to try it? Let's do it. Uh, well, the players haven't left yet, so yeah, let's it's, do it. He's, it's restored his connection, but he's not yet playing. Okay, we'll it'll just say, start. Say, uh, we'll just start. Kilachino is now playing. Yep. All right. So all right yeah, on the left side in game number three of this best of five series, we have beat our <laughs> beat our bakers. With Shadowman Uther, Wabi playing Felstead, Tomzy playing Zagara in top lane, Nande is playing Chen, and Arthas is played by Breeze. Yep, this is the case. And on the right hand side, it is We Are Not Prepared. And on the Valor in the top lane, it is Falcon. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Oh no, he, he left and is now Wait. Oh, Kinochino's now playing! Darko, get back here! <laughs> Alright, Falcon is the Falcon is in the top lane on the Valor. In the mid lane, it is currently Muradin bot playing the Muradin. It is Polator playing the Malfurion. In the bot lane, it is Kinochino. He's back. He's playing the Tacitor. And Black and Black Scorp is playing the um Nope. Okay. Well, I guess they're now leaving. Yeah. I, I have no idea what's going on. No, I, is that all of them? I think that is. Well, it's everyone except Kilatino, actually. Nope, Kilatino? he's left too. He's left too. Okay. And Faust has over the board. Alright, so unfortunately yeah. we'll have to remake once again. By the way, First Blood did go to... Um, <laughs> we're not prepared. Yeah, Killerscorp flew over the wall. <laughs> Died to towers. Not Killerscorp, sorry. Uh, Faust said, which was Tomzy. <laughs> Wobby's All right, we'll, we'll try to remake once again, and we'll, ta uh, we'll tell Kilochino that uh, he should relog. Yeah, that's our best bet at this point. Sorry for the delay, guys. Sorry we're catching up with the other semi. Sorry that you have to see our faces over and over again. Yeah, especially your picture. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> um... I can draw over it, like... Let's draw a moustache. I already have a beard, what are you going to draw? A monocle? Uh, I don't know, like, <laughs> devil horns or something? <laughs> devil um, horns in a top hat. <laughs> devil's advocate. Hey, I like it. I like it. 
Um, K, 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 K. Um, right. Do you have Kilochino? Uh, no, but I'm in the lobby. I will tell him. Okay, to just tell him. Just tell him. Yeah. I think uh, Kings of the Storm is actually going on at the same time right now, isn't it? Uh, Kings of the Storm. I know it's. I know it is today. I don't know if it happen. If it uh, happens. Okay. Did he relock? Okay. Oh, he did, did the a PC restart. Part. Okay. Yeah. Okay. With a reboot, I th if it's not working now, I think they might have to forfeit. I or just they get a replacement. They'll probably player. either give a map or they need to find another player. Yeah. I, that's down to an admin decision. That's nothing to do with us. But players are reading up. Attempt number three. Third one is <laughs> a charm. Number three of this best of five series. Oh dear. Alright. Okay. Third time's the charm, as Breeze has said. Okay. Alright. Clench your fist. Clench your everything. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that came off wrong. <laughs> what? Just clench all of the muscles in your body? Uh, Heads ever. Tight. Right. <laughs> Look like a turtle if I do that. <laughs> All right, um, we're done right. loading. We're one hundred percent. Did you notice that once it's at one hundred percent, eventually the music just stops on the loading? I screen? don't have music on at all. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, okay. It's not loading, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yeah. Oh jeez. Okay. Um. Let's talk to the admins right away. Yep. Oops. That's the wrong channel. Apparently, I spelled relogging as reclogging. You just um said nope to it's not working. So you essentially said it's working. He understands. I know double <laughs> negatives are a thing, but still, he un he he gets it. Uh, it just gets crazy once you add in third or fourth um, negative, triple or quadruple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> quadruple, <laughs> quadruple, quadruple negatives. Quadruple yeah. negatives. I've been casting for too long without any food. Well, I had one chip and one chocolate finger. Okay, we could switch to the other semi-final. I they are in prefer game. to, yeah, uh, they're still in game, 10 minute mark. Either way, I think we're probably going to have to have a short delay while sure. we sort what, uh, what they're going to do. Yep. And, so, yeah, Kings I'll of the Storm is right now. Who's casting that? Um, I assume Jake. I think it's Jake that runs it, right? Or Jake and Sea Steve. Sea Steve is running it. I think Jake is usually casting it, yeah. Yeah, let's have a look. Here's the storm. Um, well, uh, apparently, uh, Jesse Cox is streaming. Uh, yeah, Kings of Storm with Solid Jake. Thrall uh, is not banned, uh, Clippic. Nope, Thrall is not banned, Tychus is. Only Tychus, only Tychus. Tychus. Oh, this is, this is disappointing. Thank you, so you disappear. Um, yeah, we'll we'll try to try to make something happen here and try to get the next game going for you guys. But um, currently, for some reason, uh, Killer Chino's PC doesn't want to load into Blackheart's Bay. Yeah, and this is the longest wait we've had so far. What country is it? Maybe they passed some anti-piracy laws. <laughs> I, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm so go. slow. We're in, but it's not working. It, it's been too long. We've been casting for, what, like five hours now without <laughs> yeah. too much food. All right. Well, I guess we are going to head to a short delay while we... He's lost his connection now. Yeah, we're going to head to a delay. We're going to 
head to a break. I'm assuming the rest of the team's gonna leave. Oh, he's restored his connection again. We'll not do the intro. No, I'll no, just, we'll not do I'll the intro. I'll just show the screen, but we'll not do the intro just yet. Yeah, just see what happens. Who is Shabuzi? Uh, Shabuzi is Jesse Cox. Okay. Okay, did he relock? Looks um, like it says Killer Chino, yet. but he's not connected. No, it says Tasta. Okay, in game on the on the tab stream. It says... Tab streams are relevant. Look at the mute button. Oh, okay. If there's a mute button available, then he's. If there's no mute button available, he is not connected. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm assuming they're just going to disconnect. No, they they appear to just be playing it out at the moment. They haven't disconnected yet. I guess they're waiting to see if he connects yet. We are blessed by the light. I'm I'm just I'm just currently have the my follow on awesome. I have my character follow on Tasta. Just see yep. what happens. It looks like they're playing it out though. Yeah, With like Tasta bot. Yeah, um, I guess so. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work either, but I think it's their best. I think that's just what they're going for. I think for. they're just gonna stick in there until he has uh, reloaded into the lobby. Possibly. And possibly play it safe early on. <laughs> yeah, this well, is anyways, a... this is the third game, um, third map in the series, best of five. It's currently 1 1, and on our left side, we have the blue team. Beat our bakers. On the right side, the red team. We're not prepared. And it looks like even though they have a disconnected player uh, for Tassadar over here, they're still gonna try it. Yeah, Tassadar. <laughs> Tassadar bot laying down a bit of harass onto Chen there. But Chen able to shield past it. And I'm gonna be quite interested to see uh, if Tassadar bot pulls off some plays, then we have a meme in our hands. But uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But looks like they are playing it out. Yeah, he's still not, still not reconnected, but he's doing good so far. Yeah, he's just following around uh, Merlin. They're just playing it through. <laughs> Best Tassadar EU. Let's see what the talents it's picked. Uh, Tassadar bot has picked Kundra's Pursuit, and he has picked Reinforced Structures. Plasma Shield Why? is 100% stronger and lasts 100% longer Why? when used on Structures. <laughs> Oh dear. Do you know if the bots always pick the same talents? I do not, no. I have no idea. To be honest, that might save a keep or something like that if it was shielded. If he I actually uses it. If he uses it, yeah, on buildings. It's probably just going to keep using it. I actually haven't seen him use the shield yet, so... I'm going to keep it... I'm, oh, I'm... some insights from Ali at the same time. Um, when the game um, reaches 4 gigabytes of RAM usage during loading screen, uh, it can freeze up. If you're using the 32-bit version. Ali is so clever. Hmm. He really is. Should work for Blizzard. <laughs> you hear that, Sam? I will send you this VOD. <laughs> I will send you this VOD, Sam. Alright, so we are sit Currently the game is being played out, though, so we are gonna continue going. I'm gonna just gonna keep an eye on this Tassadar's talents, because it amuses me. <laughs> Certainly does. Uh, so far, I think both teams have picked up a couple of coins. Actually, more coins going to the side of we're not prepared. Uh, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> I mean, they're playing with the bot and still having the upper hand in coins. Well, they have control of the top plane, so they've been able to get more of the the smaller camps. Kiltino has lost the connection. Kiltino has restored his connection. But he's still not in the game. Nope. Uh, it would say Kiltino is now playing, if that was the case on the little message on our left. All right, Wubby, starting to take control of this chest, but Falcon is moving in here. In comes Tomsey from the other side, though Hunter Killer on the creep will be enough to take down Falcon. The creep does provide the extra movement speed. Oh, that's first blood going to beat our bakers, and now they have a little bit of flex space to actually turn in their coins and not. Oh, actually make that first barrage happen. Not bad. Two coins remain on Wubby. Yep, so he's going to be able to keep those. And if they get both the other chests, they will have enough for another turn. If not, it's just extra mercenaries. Chen, in the top lane, was able to clear up the bruiser camp that was taken by We Are Not Prepared. And they still haven't taken their bruiser camp, so they still have that potential push. And they didn't do any damage on these uh, on the walls before, so this is not quite going to take out the fort, but at least do some decent damage there. 
Oh, down here, Muradin going on top of Shadowmare, but reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, nice dodge, jumping over the wall. The, that extra range on Muradin's jump is such a huge improvement and is so good for him. I don't think he's being DDoSed. Um, players are just using that as an excuse. I doubt that a lot of these players are getting DDoSed. Streamers with 10 viewers keep saying that they're getting DDoSed. Oh, that's first blood for uh, Tassadar. Or him going down. Yeah, Tassadar has finally died. I like the BR makers have not been cruel and have not been bullying yet. Nande, once again, heading to the top lane, continuing to farm up. His team have a pretty convincing lead at this point. Yeah, Nande needs to watch out. Malfurion is coming in, but it's only Malfurion for now, so... Yeah, Nande can tank that. Yeah, Chen can tank course. almost anything. But ults are available for B-top Bakers. Standard ults, we see the Panda Pals, we see Army of the Dead, Devouring more, Shock and Awe, and Divine Storm. The standard Why did they rename... I just heard an ult. Why do they um, rename Shock and Awe, by the way? It's called Hinterland, Bla Hinterland Blast now. Oh, um, Great I, Void Prism! Good lord, that was amazing. And that's going to allow Black Scorp, uh, yeah, Black Scorp to escape. Oh, no, 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 so Blink, close. Blink, Even baiting out the Blink. heroic here. Black Scorp's so good. <laughs> wow, level. that was insane. Yeah, uh, I guess they renamed it for lore, so, for lore purposes. Oh, okay. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't actually know. Um, maybe they have another time. They want to push Shock and Awe later. Uh, Midfort is in trouble here. Yep, Midfort taking Storms. a bit of damage. It will go down to Wubby once he gets involved. Oh, that almost kills it. One more Q from him will probably take that down. However, Shadowmare is taking some damage here. He heals himself and drops the protective shield. And in comes the rest of Vitar Baker's Chen is the furthest out at the moment. But he will be here in time for the fight. Tomzi looking onto Tassadar. And they're not giving him any leeway anymore. But Tassadar able to escape. Thanks to the face shift, but in comes Chen onto him, doing the damage. That's Force Wall. Oh, Force Wall. That's freaking Crazy. Force Wall. Tassadar is now backing out as quick as possible. If I, I have to be honest, if Tassadar is able to win his team of fight, I will just lose it at this point. But He's been doing yes, pretty good so far. He's been doing alright, he's only died once. It's uh, yep. not bad. It's not on the level of Uferbot on the NA, but still <laughs> not terrible. Wubby turns in his four coins still. Another six required to uh, get the full turn in. And oh god, Shadow Mare, you do not want to fight Black Scorp on your own. Nande was coming in from the back though, but he gets rooted uh, by Polator. There is the Clairvoyant, which spots Zeratul, but they're going on to Polator because he's easier to take down and has no escape. He does go down. Another kill going over to beat our Bakers, and they are dominating this game. But you have to feel bad for we are not prepared. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they could have done so much better here. But yeah. still, I mean, so they far, only game. one and a half levels behind. Um, and e if they somehow, by some miracle, manage to pull off a good team fight, they could still turn things around. And right now, nothing nothing is lost yet. Yeah, Static Charge is still a decent ability, so that's not... Oh, God. That, oh, did you see nice. That? This baiting out. Black Scorp is on fire tonight. Yeah, Shadow Bear popping his ult again. And completely, don't think, yeah, Black Scorp Zeratul, someone was talking about it in the chat earlier, but apparently it is godlike, and it really is. Black Scorp has been doing so much here. Oh, Gilachino has uh, had his, out, has it, had his minutely disconnect, reconnect. <laughs> uh, bot lane already taken out all the towers, all the gates, and yeah, this fort is under trouble, but right now they have a pretty strong push coming in. And might be able to take out these gates. They're going down to try and deal with this. There are some siege giants here for beat up Bakers to help defend Shadowmare and also heal these up a bit. Or some not the perfect timing. Here. The giants are in front of the gates, so they can be targeted. That storm, though, doing a very good job of clearing those up. But the giants do kill off the giants of uh, We Are Not Prepared. But one volley from Valor is able to take them down. Nice multi shot there. And Buridid, still going to wander around, be as annoying as possible. And there's a full turn in for We Are Not Prepared. Yep, this is going to take out the... Uh, not quite. I think they did a little bit of damage, but I doubt it's going to be enough here for this mid-fort. Yep, Black Scorp. Oh, Black Scorp is in trouble. Oh, he gets rooted. Oh, he's he in the middle of everyone. Stunt? And down he goes. Wow. The, double, the root into double stun is enough to take him down. Tassadar bot being locked down right now. He still has phase shift available. 
is backing up, then Slow goes down, and there's the Devouring Moor. And Chen going around the other side to root him. Once he comes out of that doubt, he goes, not able to phase shift in time. Yeah, so this is a little bit like a pub game right now. Just taking care of things. Doing the deed. Yeah, this... I, feel, I still feel bad. Spell shield taken by Tastadar. Static charge isn't bad. <laughs> that's that's a reasonable talent, I guess. Uh, uh okay. I feel really bad for them. This is a good chance they have. Uh, I hope he can get back in for the for, for either the next game where they still have a chance. This is not the deciding game. The for, he can either get back in for the next game where they can try and make a comeback, or for the third place match. Either way, hope they can get him back in. Yeah. Right now, I mean, beat our Vegas. They're just winning this by pure map objectives only. And this is still early in the game, but I mean, two level lead already. Now they're going for the boss. Maybe Zeratul caught this. I think he did. Yeah, Zeratul but... can steal this. Shadow Black Score is just chilling here. He's looking for his opportunity. I think he's going to try and go for the steal. And as we all know, Zeratul stealing bosses. He's He jumped in and then jumped straight back out again because it was not ready. Boy Prism's there. He needs to get in the circle. No! Oh! At all. That Hinterland Blast. Hinterland wow. Blast, that's the one. And it was like. <laughs> Void Prism! Alright, now all I have to do is to get it. Oh no! <laughs> and suddenly get smashed in the face. Well, he is squishy, and he's even more squishy if you're three levels behind. He mistimed that blink. He blinked in, was revealed, yep. blinked back out, but they knew where he was because they had vision of him. So they were able to pick him off and make sure that they did get control of that boss. Turning does go over to uh, We Are Not Prepared. Fast oh, Polit is uh, in trouble! Yep, Falcon comes in, in. He tries to keep down. him back, but the boss is still alive and they're going for that keep. Black Corp's trying to find an angle here, trying to get on top of Sagara, but I don't think he can. Nande is in trouble, Falcon putting up some decent damage, but there comes the Panda Pelts. And he can stay alive. Darka on the right side, can he escape? Yes, I think he can. He yeah, really wants to push be, him back, but this I might be game this already. Be an end. We are seeing Beatar Bakers pushing on to the core. They're going to be able to take it down. Golem's on half health. And, oh, however, the Panda Pals has expired now. Breeze is also taking a lot of damage, so it looks like they're actually going to leave this for now. Nunday backing up. They realize they cannot quite finish yet. They did quite a bit of damage, though. 20% onto the core, and the Golem will continue to do that. About 25% onto that core. Black Scorp, though, looking to do some cleanup. Nice! Last minute heal there with the wow. Death Coil by Breeze to keep himself alive. And he is going to run away. Shadow Mare is there with him. Fastad flying down to this bot area to take some mercenaries, take some coins, and they're just going to carry on doing what they have been doing. Yeah, I like how Black Scope is playing this. I mean, he's so active on the map. Oh, nice move here on Tomzy. Can he get the kill, though? Oh, Nandi comes in. Oh, okay. what a clutch All save right. with the Void Prism. <laughs> yeah, Black Scope's just going just gonna to leave. The oh! Oh, wow. So good. Yeah. <laughs> This was the thinnest ice you were standing on, Black Scorp. I could not agree more. Black Scorp is just so good. I could, if Tassadar hadn't DC, this could very much be a different game. But Tassadar's still helping. He, he's going to be helping in this way. What's his next one? Resonation. Targets are slowed. I guess that will help, considering Valor has Executioner. That could help. Okay. Yeah. Looks like they're going to try sure and fight to... at the turn in again. But the Dub Bakers aren't currently there. They're busy taking all of the coins. The light shines on us and they're heading to the turn. And now Chen is on the way. All five members of both teams are here. But Shadow Bear is trapped away from his team. He's used his sprint. He's dashing out. He gets through. He throws down the Divine Storm just to try and keep himself alive. But he does go down. But uh, the Dub Bakers just used this an opportunity to turn in. Nando is the last one. Can they delay for enough time? Yes, they can because we're not seeing anyone go in here. And uh, Nande gets the full turn in, and now they can possibly look for a gank, but it's going to be much better for them to just move behind their fort, play it safe, and just do a bit of wave clearing to keep them in a good position. Uh, by the way, Kiloshino just <laughs> disconnected again. I saw, yeah, he didn't reconnect though, so... No, I, he I never just... did. I'm assuming he's probably closed the game at this point in frustration, which would be why. Well, hopefully he's... Um... Clearing things up so he can get in the next game. Otherwise, this uh, might be a lost semi-final for we're not prepared. 
maybe, and that would be very disappointing. They have played so well throughout this tournament, done such a good job. Breeze, under a bit of harass here, has managed to pop his ult, which will keep him more than alive here. But seeing as Ufa's not here, we're seeing Vita Vegas a bit hesitant to engage here, and there's a lot of sustain coming out from We Are Not Prepared. Nice devouring oh, more though, and right Parker more. is very much separated from his team here. Hinterland Blast almost takes down Tassadar and Falcon. Wobby is here. There's the Divine Storm. Darker still being stunned. Down goes Malfurion. Darker is on the retreat. He is the only one who's pro probably killable at this point, and he does go down. Zeratul is still hanging around. I think he wants to maybe steal these coins or at least try and pick someone off. There he goes. He's moving in. He wants Tommy. He wants Tommy. There's the Hunter Killer, and that will pick off Tommy, but Black Scorp Oh, he might go down the... Go yeah, down he's through. definitely yeah, definitely falling. Yep, 20 talents are available for Beat our Bakers, and it looks like they are once again going for an end here. They have a minion wave and with three, four people dead, now is a good time. Tassadar bot! Make it happen! Can you save it, Tassadar? Use the force wall to stop... He's using the force wall to keep bouncing away without the damage. That was the most useless force wall I've ever seen. I agree. He has the bonus structure shield though. That will be enough. No. Unfortunately, Tassadar was not, oh, Tassadar wow. was not able to save the game there. <laughs> so, the game goes over to beat our bakers. They go 2-1. They only need to win one more game before they earn that spot on the uh, in the Heroes Premier League Season 2. Killer Cheetah, I feel so bad. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. And then I, and we already have the draft started. Stitches was the first ban coming out of We're Not Prepared. Zeratul banned by Beat Our Bakers. And now, unsurprisingly, the right wing first pick. Oh, interesting. Beat Our Bakers going straight for Sergeant Hammer and Arthas. Now, wasn't it We're Not Prepared that had um, Sergeant Hammer and pretty pretty much every every single lineup it is indeed but beat up bakers did steal it once and they did win that game <coughs> hmm so might be the right idea here quite possibly and on a map as big as this hammers is very nice hammer sits in the back while the plant terror just tanks everything and just pushes stuff down so beat up bakers stealing that up and hammer has basically become the highest picked assassin who isn't an assassin <laughs> true, that's true. It's a very interesting setup that they seem to that seems to be going now. Okay, so Vala is the next pickup alongside Tassadar. And I like that Tassadar is making a comeback and becoming one of the more regular picks again. Yeah, <clears throat> Tassadar's coming back in. He's coming in sort of as a halfway point between Warrior and Assassin, neither of which he is. So, mm. <laughs> but he, he's He's bringing his own thing. He's shielding his team. He's dropping a healing totem now and again if he wants it. He's throwing out the damage in the Archon form. He's still doing work. Uh, we have a word in German for that. It's called Eierlegende Wollmilchsau, which basically means... That's one word? Yeah. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> it means egg-laying um, wool milk saw. <laughs> or pig. <laughs> That's not one word then. In. It's it's all one word. It's one word that translates into what five English words? Yep. <laughs> you you guys cheat because you have compound words. Yeah. That's we not. Do. You can't claim you have a word in German. You have a compound word in German. <laughs> well, but some some of these compound words are just they they're uh, separated by by um uh, what do you call hyphens, them minuses words. hyphens something like that. Okay. Yeah, we, we have hyphenated words, which technically count as one word, but still, but it depends who you talk to and what what word game you're playing. Like Scrabble doesn't that hyphen. Wait, am I seeing this correctly? You are in fact seeing it correctly. It Lily. Is Lily. Now Lily received a lot of changes, and I've heard that she can be viable now. Uh, but it's nice. Yeah, and there's okay. not too much counter stun here. It does mean that they're down a bit of stun on their own because, well, Oof is just nice. But Lili's heals are pretty solid, especially when you have people like Arthas and Muradin. Lili's heals are much more efficient than those of Ufa. Okay, so they really rely on Lili's healing. Seems now so. they have an option uh, to just react to what we're not prepared is throwing out. Could be an Azebo. Um, yeah, the Azebo would be okay here. There's uh, currently two stuns 
and two knockbacks on the team of Beta Bakers. So still, yeah, very much potential for a Nazibo. There's a Tyrael, oh, which Tyrael. is, I think it is Nazibo, because Tyrael would be taken to deny that extra CC. And... So we could be seeing a new... If, if the Nazibo comes out of We're Not Prepared, then... Um... Beatout Bakers could throw down a noob, but that would leave him with three warriors and yeah, just triple Sergeant tank Hat. and just sort of leave hammer in the back. Just like yeah. you do it, you you deal with it. I've not seen such a composition in ages, but maybe they can make it work. But first, uh, but we got to see what we're not prepared is throwing out there. What are the, who are they putting out on the battlefield? I think Nazibo is a good pick for both teams in this scenario. Yeah, true. Yeah, I gotta agree. Yeah, there's not much. There's not too much CC. There's rain of, uh, but slightly a bit. It's slightly a better pick for we are not prepared because they themselves have polymorph, rain of vengeance, and the two different, the three different types of Tyrael and displacement. Judgment, yeah. Judgment displacement, Ooh, and it's going to be Illidan. Illidan as their final pick. A very. In this is going to be a very engaging comp with the. Uh, it will be dash. Into, it will be dive into judgment or the other way around. Val will be sitting in the back. Tasta will be shielding people. It's a very, very aggressive composition here. And now Beta Bakers, they're left in an interesting position. They need some extra damage, but they need someone who's going to be able to survive and maybe counter Illidan. And it's going to be Rainer. Normally, Tychus would be amazing in this, in this situation mm -hmm. because one, he has five ability, and two, he is a direct counter to Illidan. I would like to point out, Lily is actually a direct counter to Illidan. Is she? How's that so? She blinds. She blinds and she heals. She outheals his damage and she blinds his auto okay. attacks and can do, seeing as all her abilities are auto focus, she completely, she basically completely ignores his evasion and the water dragon attacks through evasion. Oh. So if you, if you 1v1 a Lili versus a Lilidin, a Lili will probably win, especially if they have Envenom. Because Envenom's awesome. All right, um, last game, Marino. Okay. I'm just checking chat in there. <laughs> yeah, people are like, like, someone said they picked Lily before the patch. Yes, but she wasn't picked very often. It's still surprising to see when there are better options. We're not saying, oh my god, people never pick Lily. We're saying people don't really pick Lily that often. We saw her before the patch. As I, have, as I have said, I believe, uh, who, play, who played her in some of the matches we did? I believe Hot Slogs did it once. Okay. Um, who I've, I've only seen her once, to, to be I've honest. Seen, I've, seen it quite a few, I've seen it quite a few times, but it's so much rarer because everyone is picked more than Lily. Every single support, she is the least picked support, and with the new changes to her, that is interesting to see. Oh, Eierlegende wollen mich saus indeed two words. Excellent. <laughs> so right. we, we don't quite less have that. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slightly less good. Okay, let's load into the map. Let's hope uh, Killer Chino doesn't um, disconnect again. Yep, we can hope. It's Garden of Terror. Yep, so <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, this is game number five. The final game in the semi finals of the Heroes Premier League qualifier number two. And we can only hope that we can get into this and we don't have any issues like we did earlier. We're in. Ooh, I don't looks see good. the disconnection options. But whoever wins this will be qualifying for the Heroes Premier League Season 2. Would you like to introduce the blue team? Make sure you've got the right uh, scene on. Okay, I think I got it. Um, all right, our blue team here on... Dr uh, oh, God, I'm always saying Dragon Child, but it's not. Similar aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Garden of Terror. They are Bidar Bakers with Breeze in the top lane on Muradin. Mid lane taken by Nande on Arthas. Bot lane, we have Tomzy as Sergeant Hammer and Shadowmare on Lili, while Wabi is playing Raider. And on the right hand side, in the red trunks, it is We Are Not Prepared. Um, Starting in the top lane, it is Black Scorp on the Illidan doing a little dance. In the mid lane, on the Tassadar, and actually in this game, it is Killer Chino. I don't think I've seen him on anything but Tassadar this entire time. And in the bot lane, on the bright wing, it is Polator. 
on the ter on the Tyrael, it is darker or T darker, and on the Valor, it is Falcon. And they're taking the trip lane against another triple lane. Yeah, Let's have a look at Lily. Onto Tomzi already, but look at those heals from Lily. Already healing Tomzi back up to basically full health from all the harass and herself. From Red, and look, she's lost no mana. Yeah, she's barely lose, uh, lost any mana. And a couple of mines are going down there, but swiftly taken out by Falcon. Until level, f until level uh, four's next talent, right? Until level four, I am going to keep up the healing tab. So that just so you can see the kind of healing Lily is throwing down. There's all that harass onto Tomzi. He's taking a lot of damage. Lily continuing to throw out heals. She's currently on the entire other team's worth of healing combined. That is insane. <laughs> that is very insane. Lily, pretty solid as it turns out. And someone's pointing out that Lily doesn't have Envenom anymore. I'm very bad at this apparently when it comes to remembering what abilities were removed. There comes the Here's the curse. We are seeing Shadow Mare and Wobby moving in to try and steal some seeds, but there's no way they could be able to get control of that. And someone angered the boss. So we're seeing the team of Peter Bakers having to back up a bit to play a bit safer. In the top lane, though, seeds have been spread out evenly. Muradin's got all the, top, the ones on his side, and Illidan got all the ones on his side. Yep, and he's going back into lane, soaking up a little bit more XP, waiting until Tyrael gets there to actually engage upon Muradin, but nope, not happening so far. And it looks yeah. like they want to engage that Shambler in top lane. Bottom Shambler hasn't been enraged just yet. Uh, someone brought up a good point in the chat. Uh, I said Lili was like the lead. Everyone was picked more than Lili. Someone reminded me Tarande was a hero. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are correct, sir. Tarande is in fact <laughs> still in the game. It's quite hard to remember that sometimes. Uh, but I've seen more of Tarande and Lili. I haven't. I've seen more Lili than Tarande. Someone, is, someone was correct with that call. Uh, finally going all the way with this Shambler, and looks like they can take him out without uh, Muradin really uh, doing all that much of interference. And yep. that's a lot of seeds going their way. Bottom all Shambler the bot also went, taken. Yeah, all of the bot seeds, however, went over to beat our Bakers, so we're not going to see a Terra on the first night. And we're seeing healing totems coming out from the Lili and the Tassadar, so even more healing going to be coming out in this game. Lots of sustainability here for both teams then. Yep, 3k healing on Lili, 1.8k on Bright... 1.9k now, on Brightwing. Not bad, almost double the healing. That is not bad at all. <laughs> it's it's she's still doing some damage at least. Um, yeah, she's, she's throwing a little bit out. She's, <laughs> she's got uh, She's got more hero damage than Arthur's currently, but Arthur's has not yet been in team fights. Then he sort of boosts up because Frozen Waste is amazing. But Arthas is gearing up to take these uh, siege camps here, just all by himself. Yep, he can do that. He has heals, and he will just and he now has a rune tap as well, so he's going to have even less trouble. He will heal himself up as he does this, and down it goes, taking that down. Muradin having a bit of trouble in this top play, and Black Scorp is pushing in very heavily with this Bruiser camp. Breeze, however, because Black Scorp is playing so close to the towers, Breeze is getting free stacks on his Q. Yeah, this helps out quite a bit, but Black Scorp not doing, not taking all that much damage. Uh, He's Breeze coming in. Healthy. He's taking quite a bit of damage. He's still going onto this. And there we go. Backing out and using first aid. Darko, you're on the wrong side there, friend. But the gate does go down. <laughs> He's going to be able to get out completely fine. In the meantime, Speed Up Bakers taking their mercenaries in the bottom lane, taking their bruisers. Breeze having to play very far yeah, back. Breeze now. is going to need some help here. Otherwise, he can't deal with these bruisers and two heroes. Uh, coming out of we're not prepared and looks like they can take this fort down if Lily is not getting there in time Yeah, she's not gonna get there in time. She's not gonna be able to help it, uh, help even if it does There's the blind coming out, which is gonna be incredibly useful It is it did not miss most of his attacks there, but it's still not enough down goes that fort now They are just camping under this tower, but that is first fort blood. I guess going <laughs> over to team uh, Oh, Arthas is moving in there. missing his route and Darka getting out of there but no, Illidan, he wants to see it. So he wants to see it, make it happen, but Nande is a little bit wiser. Gets out of that fight. Looks like they're gearing up to take the siege camp, and Blackscorp is having none of it. Yep, Blackscorp looking for the opportunity to jump in and maybe go for a kill or a steal, but Illidan versus Arthas and Lili 
is not going to happen. You've got the permanent AoE slow, you've got the heals, you're not taking that down, even with a bright thing on your side. It's not going to happen, but they have delayed these mercenaries enough for their team to just get a little bit more control on the map. Hammer still attempting to just do as much as she can in the spot lane. The mid lane, however, pushing very heavily for We Are Not Prepared. They are in control of this game at the moment. Yeah, uh, have a solid level advantage. And that's going to help out quite a bit, especially uh, once night falls and we will see a little bit more team fights going on. Um, if they're actually going for the same Chandler, but ooh, Breeze is coming in here. Reign of Vengeance has already been shot out and Tomzy actually survived that attack. Nande on the top, he's trying to get back, but Judgment comes in and some nice body blocking. Nande is not getting out of that one. And that's first team, uh, first kill going to... We're not prepared. Yep, getting that was actually team. first blood. That was first blood. And now they are going in. Beat up Akers, trying to get some counter damage done. There comes the Metamorphosis in. The, the uh, Jug of a Thousand Cups has come in from Shadow Best. So much healing is being dropped down, and that is keeping the team alive. Wobby is on the complete wrong side of this, but he's actually going to do a lot of damage here in the back. Breeze jumps in to continue the fight, and down goes Tyrael. And they also got Tassadar, so actually very nice counter engage here by Beat Our Bakers, and they take control of this bottom jungle. And yeah, two for zero, not bad. The and shambler. now they they have, they have can take control of the Shambler, can get a couple more seats. Um, fortunately for Winner Prepared, they already gathered enough seats to take their own Garden Terror, so they can put on a little bit of pressure here. Yep, they are but good so team. will uh, Beat Our Bakers. Yep, both teams have a Terror ready. So, it's a question of who's going to go back. It's Jeremy Nande who will be inside the terror of Beat Our Bakers. And we are seeing We Are Not Prepared starting on the top Shambler as well. It's going to be their Tyrael inside their Blood Terror. Yep. Mm, they already have 95 more seats, so almost ready for the next round. Yep. And let's see what they're going to do with their Shambler. It's making its way across the map. And it looks like we're actually going to see the uh, thing oh, we Shambler about dance. of both the Shambler dance rather than any kind of split pushing. But I guess if you try... Well, now we're going to see split pushing. Nande is off. He's going to the bot lane to try and get some push down there. Hammer has already started it for him. So it's just the port he has to deal with. In the meantime, the entirety of We Are Not Prepared is pushing it down this mid lane of Beta Bakers. The Terra, though, already very low thanks to the Napalm and the great damage here coming out of Beta Bakers. They actually tried to engage there, but they're just going to disengage. Going to heal up thanks to Lily. Lily still full mana, I would like to point out, and she's been pressing Q pretty much this entire fight. Yep, and you're right. I mean, they put out so much damage onto Darker that his uh, terror is actually not going to do all that much, but maybe they can catch Nande. He's going to be... Oh, yeah, he's pressed in the corner right here. But Darker also pops out, so I don't think they're gonna press this too hard. Oh, Darker's in trouble. Nope. Nice Jumps out of there. Yeah, very nice Elduin's might there, able to escape. However, Nande is quite low now. He's actually got a heal from somewhere. I'm not sure what gave him that heal. But he is now moving in. There goes the polymorph, and he's just going in with his body, and he will take down that four. He has four seconds left, so he's probably gonna just yeah, just throw out any abilities oh, free he has seed. left. <laughs> Breeze just picked up the last seat that was somehow forgotten over there. Yeah, it, ha it happens. It's like the coin we saw on that Black Hearts map. Yeah, which, definitely. Uh, body blocks the golem, which oh, but they need to watch out. Yeah, this is We're dangerous. not prepared. Tom They're moving the position. position Arthas is still caught out there on the right side, and he's being body blocked. There comes the Reign of Vengeance, only catching Breeze. And there comes the Judgment onto Shadow Mare. He's taking a little bit of damage, but nope, they want to focus. want to focus down Breeze. And he is in trouble. He's caught right in the middle there. And they finally take him out. That's 2-0. Shadow Mare still in there. Comes a nice little storm. And he goes down as well. But they don't want to fight right on top of the fort. So that's the retreat. And, yeah, even the steal on that bruiser camp. Yep, and uh, one thing I would like to point out there is just then we saw the issue with picking Lily. And that is, her ult is interruptible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is, if you stun her... Her ult is gone, and that's exactly what we saw happen. She, all that healing she could have been coming out with there, which might have kept her team alive, was just completely rendered mute. <clears throat> Level 16 talents, uh, not quite ready, but we have rewind on Muradin. 
and giant killer on Rainer. Down here, uh, multi shot build, of course, for Valor. And rewind for Brightwing. Yep, nothing too unusual there. So we're getting a lot of that. So both teams actually just going for this team fight composition. And right now, though, as we see, it is working out a bit better for we are not prepared. Yeah, It'll really solid control uh, right now on top of the map. I mean, uh, they basically took out all the siege camps, all the bruiser camps they could. Oh, Nande. Nande oh. called out again. Down comes the Reign of Vengeance. He's popped his ult. He's trying to stay alive, and he is actually going to be able to get out. In comes Illidan with the Metamorphosis. The Jungle Classic Cops has now expired. So they've used up their main source of healing and they're just going to continue fighting though. Darker being dropped very low. Black Scorp able to dash out of there. He's now Killer Chino. He's had to face shift out. In comes the Judgment onto Wubby. Wubby being dropped very low. This The Illidan is going onto him. His pat Wubby used his passive already. He goes down. Tomzi is now the target. Blood for Blood slows him and Black Scorp is able to pick up the kill. And now onto Dante. Wow, Blackscorp just that's the team over. kill. One for five. Wow, what an incredible fight. Jeez, we're not prepared really on top of things tonight. Yeah, that was that was amazing, and this is not looking good for Beat Our Bakers at the moment. With all of them down, we are just seeing we are not prepared, taking both the Shamblers right now. They're going to have it, a lot of seeds. They're, They're going to have a massive ready, surplus ready. of seeds, and um, this is not going to be a Shamble for a while now for, uh, for Beat Our Bakers. Someone needs to be and take that Terror. I would like to point this out. That's only got 10 seconds left. I don't think they're actually going to get this. Oh, oh Valor's being gonna... for it. Oh, it's going to be close. I think it takes three seconds to get it. Oh, that's going to be tight. Oh, Whoa. one second. Good job, Tyrael. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Illidan, he needs to watch out. Shadowmere's right there. Yeah. Breeze on his back as well. But uh, I think he can. Ooh, oh, no, not stunned. with that stun coming out. Uh, Metamorphosis but... over the wall. Great escape. Blink heal onto him. And the first aid heals him back up to basically full. And now he's turning around. He's thinking about going back in. Ah, he's good. He's good. He fountains as well, just for just because he can. It's over. He already had. He's already pretty <laughs> much full health. Let's get him more health. But metamorphosis is now over, so he needs to be more. He needs to be very careful now. He needs to wait for that ult to come back up before he does anything like that again. That's weird. The ult timer doesn't show for metamorphosis. It doesn't. Some... There's a couple it bugs out with. Ah, uh, okay. Shambler's going to bot lane, and ooh, it's already out of ammo. Looks like Darker can take this out by himself if he wants to. Yeah, but he can Remainder of his team is going uh, mid lane. La uh, what's the term? Laissez-faire, I think the term is. I, can't, I can't remember very well. Uh, Laissez-faire, that's the one. Uh, and he can be fairly laissez-faire with this because his team already has another Terra waiting in the wings for when this one dies. Yeah. And that's Midfort going down. Nande can't really do anything here. I'm, I think they're... Yeah, they're, they're pretty caught out here. And that's the next rotation. Let's see what they're gonna do here. Yeah, maybe catch Nande while, he, while he's, he's out of position. <laughs> Nande is just being chased down. He is the hunted. This is like the Blizzard version of that game Evolved, where everyone is hunting the giant monster. <laughs> <laughs> and Darker is still in it. I mean, he still has a couple seconds left. And took out that four, took out the tower. Wow, this really went amazing, or we're not prepared. Yep, and we are now going to see Beat Our Bakers move into the mid lane. Going to throw down the bolt, trying to get some damage done, but they just can't really get in here. Nunder, 26 seconds left, and his team is there with him, but they have to back out because their top and bottom lanes are pushing. Oh, and double blood for blood on Illidan and on Tyrael. So they really, they really want to see it. They really want to make it happen here. We're not prepared. They're gearing up for that next team fight. They're a level ahead, almost two levels ahead. And Nande, just one second, he almost pops out. Tyrael goes for it. There's the judgment. Nande's in trouble. He's caught in the middle. The sandwich comes in. There's a, oh yeah. Yep. There's the heroic from Valor finishing him off. Bit Arthur's, and that is the problem. Arthur's is incredible as a frontline, but. He doesn't actually have that much escape, but if you have such a great engaged team like we are seeing out of We Are Not Prepared, there's actually very little you can do about it. Because if you do get engaged upon by Arthur, but uh, as an Arthur's like that, what can you do but pop your abilities to try and heal yourself, and then yep. if you can't heal yourself quick enough, you do die. He's not really made for 1v1 like that. Oh, 1v5 rather. 1v5s. Yeah. 
<laughs> that's that's true. That's true for pretty much every hero, but maybe Shen or Thrall. Uh, I say Oof is good for one v fives. Divine Storm, oh. run away. True. <laughs> Void Prison works yeah, out. There are all Shen and Zagara cool. and the heroes that are made for one v five. So, but, uh, Darker is moving in one more time. He has a uh, full Shambler up, and they're going for the keep. Yep, Tomzy gets transformed, but uh, that plant has rockets on it. Okay. Uh, Tomzy, looking for his opportunity, he needs to try and get some damage down. He has Hover Siege and is dealing quite a lot of damage. Black Swarp having to metamorphosis out to play it safe. Did have a shield from Tassadar there. It's going to go on to Shadow Mare. Shadow Mare not going to be interrupted this time. It's dropping the full heals. Never mind, not Polymorph. And there it goes the rest of that Dragon of Thousand Cups. The keep will go down here. Uh, Beat our Bakers. Yet to actually go down though, they are all still alive and are all being kept fairly healthy by this Lily. I'm just going to have a quick look at the healing tab and Brightwing has in fact caught up in the amount she has healed. She is on 34,900 whereas Lily is on 34,700. Yeah, but I mean they were ahead about almost two levels for quite some time so oh, she did have she did have an opportunity to catch up here. Oh, Nande caught out, untrapped by the Garden Terror. Not bad, that's the Arthur's going down. And Darker still in that Garden Terror. Yeah, Darker was actually rooted there for a second. There's the Judgment, and he does go down. And yeah, it's not looking good. It's Wobby, Breeze, and Shadow Mare left versus five members of We Are Not Prepared. Shadow Mare gonna get pushed backwards by that cast aside. And he does go down, and this is just... This is not looking good. Read our Bakers in a really tough position right now. I don't see many ways they can win this, to be fair. But the top lane may be their salvation here with these Siege Giants if they can hold off. Be, uh, we are not prepared. But to right be honest, now, I wouldn't turn around with, for these uh, two Siege Giants. No, they could I would, have finished I the game either. right there. <laughs> yeah. They're level 20, they have double Bolt of the Storm, they have Storm Shield, uh, yeah. Twilight Archon was taken by Tassadar and Angel of Justice by Tyrael. But they want to play it safe and this is uh, a trend we've been seeing tonight, um, that all of these teams, they don't want to go for the um, little bit of a risky kill and go w win the game, but instead drag it out a little bit longer but play it safe. Yeah, we're looking at this is a build, uh, sorry, a style that we're seeing a lot of people do. We saw Tassadar attempting to be there. In comes Vidal Bakers, looking to steal some seeds, but didn't really get anything. It's another terror going over to We Are Not Prepared. That one golem is actually still alive, but like I said, not really much to keep an eye on because We Are Not Prepared is just so far ahead. Yeah, indeed they are. Uh, 13 kills versus 3. Like, I, at this point, I think the only way Vidal Bakers are going to win is they get enough for a terror, which I don't think this is. I, if I, my maths is correct, it's nowhere near. Yeah, they need to get, they need to survive this, get enough for a terror, win a team fight with the terror still alive, and just go for the core. Like just go through, uh, go through top lane because the walls down, kill the keep, and just dive straight to the core. And that's the only way they're going to get with it. They need the perfect yeah. scenario of team wipe and kill everything, or just but win it's, two it's or three team fights. <laughs> If they can win two or three team fights without dying, I will eat my hat. And it, it's a uh, weird situation to say that the win team fight with Terra is more likely at this point. And Angel escapes again with the metamorphosis. But we are seeing everyone go to the core there. Ma Shadow Mare does go down. Nande is also going to fight the Dust. Breeze gets Polymorph. He's not going to get his damage down. Wubby, though, is dealing a lot of damage in the background, but he's not going to be able to save it. Blast Corp is on to Tomzy here. Down uh, goes Core taking, taking real damage now. Yeah, the shields are down. And Tomzy so are almost down. all of the heroes of Beat Our Bakers. And this is the final damage coming in. And that's the 3-2 to two for We Are Not Prepared. And with that, they're the second team to qualify tonight for the Heroes Premier League Season 2 EU.